I'd like to show you how to upload your files to the web server using FileZilla. And at this point you should have a folder 211 website and that folder should have uh, your lab 3 files and then also a labs folder and um, in the labs folder you should have a lab1.html and a lab2.html. Now the file names can be different just make sure that they're all named properly, no spaces and no illegal characters. Um, okay, so uh, hopefully you've already downloaded FileZilla, and um, and you before you start with FileZilla, you'll probably want to just go to the um, student web server and make sure that you know what your username is. So go to studentweb.gcc.net and um, type in slash your username. Now for most people it's going to be first dot last. Mine is a little different because they um, they name the teacher folders differently. Um, so here's an example where the student has some numbers at the end. Um, so sometimes uh, if you have a common name they'll, they'll give you numbers at the end. It's basically the same username that you use to log in to, to uh, WebAdvisor. So you want to make sure that you have that username before you start. So back in FileZilla, you're going to put in your um, this, the host name, studentweb.gcc.net, and then your username, and then your password, which should be your six-digit birthday, and then click on Quick Connect. And um, when you do that, it's going to show you the web server files on the right, that's remote site, and then over on the left, you'll have to navigate to find your uh, your 211 website folder. So here's mine, um, and um, so I'm going to go ahead and navigate into that folder. And then to upload, all I need to do is just um, s select the file, and I can either drag it over, or I can right click and select upload. Now I can also shift click to select more than one file and then uh, then go ahead and upload them all at once. So now what I've done is I've basically uploaded everything and if I want to make sure I could just you know select everything and upload again and then it'll ask me if I want to overwrite and I'll just say OK and I could um, just say always use this action to overwrite all the files. And then now when I go to my website and refresh then I'll see those files on the server. Um, so uh, that's, that helps me to know that I've been successful. Now in FileZilla you'll, you want to make sure that your left side matches up with your right side. You'll notice that um, the server comes with a folder that's kind of built in when they they make the accounts called images. So you can use that or not. If you don't want it, you can just go ahead and delete it. Anytime that you want to delete a file, just, um, just select it and hit your delete key and that will allow you to delete it. And sometimes what happens is um, people get get a little confused and they start uploading the same folders over and over again. Like for example, if I uploaded the 211 website folder, then um, everything that I just uploaded gets uploaded again, but it's put inside this folder. So I've got some confusing duplicates. So if I go back here and refresh, I've got all of these files here, and then when I click into 211 website, there they are again. So that's that's really confusing. Now it's okay if you want to just always upload your 211 website folder, but then you'll notice that the URL is longer, and then um, and then the you know you'll also notice that you have those same files here if you've already uploaded them. So whichever way you choose, you just want to be consistent with it. Um, you don't want to have duplicates over here, so you, you need to pay attention to your file management, pay attention to where you're uploading things. Um, so let me go back to FileZilla, and then I'm just going to uh, right click and um, delete to delete that folder. Now let's say that I wanted to uh, 
maybe um, overwrite a file that's in the labs folder. So if I double click, then I have to double click on the right hand side to make sure that the left side matches the right. And then I can, again, I can either drag it over or I can um, right click and upload and, um, and then it will overwrite right there. Now there is a faster way to um, to use FileZilla and there's another video that shows you that and it just involves like setting up a site so that you don't have to keep typing this stuff in. Um, so I'll let you watch that if you want to save a little time.